Dunho. Welcome to the first episode of Getting to Know You. Today, we've got Larry Miller. Larry, could you tell us a little bit about your role here at Dunho and uh, what a typical day is like for you? My role is uh, I head the pre-construction efforts for, for Dunho, and it's uh, something that's been very rewarding. I joined the company in 1986 and, and a couple of years off for bad behavior, perhaps, but it's, uh, it's been a pretty big run here. Uh, like many others, I don't know that there's such a thing as a typical day. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, jobs that come in and, and a lot of people here work on multiple projects. So it's uh, back and forth of prioritizing and, and uh, you never know when that phone's going to ring or an email's going to come in and something new that you're going to have to try and shoehorn in and, and try and keep a client happy. The other thing that we it with some regularity is, is a blast from the past, a project out of the Wayback Machine that we've got to try and, try and deal with. So uh, we, stay, we stay busy, and, and with all that, we try to schedule in a little bit of fun if possible. When you're not working, what can we find you doing? I guess there's a one, two, and a three to that, and family, travel, and breweries. And on those occasions where those three intersect, that's just, that's wonderful. So Larry, tell me about how you got started in the industry and also what your first position was here at Red Dawn. I had a college roommate's father was a superintendent on a power plant project in Possum Point, Virginia, of all places. And I got a project there as a junior rigger on a crane supporting portal makers. Years went forward, and I ended up uh, at Donahoe as a senior estimator. So what is your favorite part about working at Donahoe, and what do you think makes this company different? I think the first part is very easy, and it's clearly in my mind the, the people. And if you respect the people that you work for, it's really easy to give a job your best. And then if you believe in the principles and procedures that were put in place by your predecessors, though they've been modified some over the years, uh, it makes it easier to put in the extra time and make sure something is done correctly before it goes out the door. And I think also if you believe in the product that we've got, that it makes it extremely easy to sell. Um, I think Donahoe is the best contractor in town. I think other people are agreeing with that now. And I, I, when I go out and visit some of the work that in place. It's just, uh, just awesome work. It, it, the work is such a good, uh, it's so well done and it's a testament to everybody that works for the company that we turn out a product like that. What is your greatest achievement so far here at Donahoe? I think there would be longevity, uh, embracing the culture and doing my best to pass it forward. Do you have a favorite anecdote that you'd like to share with us? Oh, I've got plenty, but one, one sticks out in my mind and that uh, speaks to the culture of the company, I think. So uh, a number of years back when I became, the year I became an officer, it was a tough year financially for the company. and um, I got to hand out bonus checks to the estimating staff, but instead I got a letter saying what my bonus would have been if they'd been paid. And, and so that was all well and good. And there was some, um, some talk perhaps about what would happen when it became possible again. But uh, I was pretty surprised that roughly 18 months later, I was given a check for that amount in exchange for the, for the letter. And I, I was just very pleased by that and thought, oh my goodness, who does this? Who, who does this? Uh, but I, I think that speaks to the culture of the company and the relationship that they have to the employees. Okay, let's go back in time. What advice would you give to your 20-something self? Save all the money you can. In December of 1980, there's going to be the initial public offering on Apple. Buy all the stock you can. But in all seriousness, I would have myself recognize that I'm surrounded by a lot of talent successful, experienced people, and to find out all I can from them, ask questions, and, and glean information.
generation of knowledge. Thank you for being with us.